If you ain't gang, don't come my way. Little Wayne Wayne is back in the headlines, and from the looks of it, the dude that supposed to have hit his bus up with the Nina trades in 2015 is out and released from the jail system. They say a guy, in the reports, they say a guy that go by the name of Jimmy Renfrey, the man the police accused of hitting up Little Wayne bus with the Nina trades, has been released from jail. On Sunday, November the 8th, they confirmed that Renfrey's lawyer, Stephen Soto, his client was released on November the 6th, and he was released from his Georgia sentence in August, but was transferred to Florida on a pro- pro- probation violation. The Florida probation violation case was just resolved, and he is now released from jail. Winfrey, who also goes by the Monica Pee Wee Roscoe, announced in the world at Instagram the day he got out with a photo standing on the, on the steps of a private jet. See, this... When I think about this story right here, man, this guy taking a picture on a private jet, it's just weird to me. Because <clears throat> it tells me that people do stuff, they do crime, and then they blow up. So you telling me this guy supposed to have hit up Lil Wayne Bus in 2015 with some Nina trays, and he's out standing by a private jet? This is loony van stuff to me, man. I mean, this is straight up ridiculous. Like, look at this guy, man. I mean, this guy standing up in the house with flat screen TVs, $3,000 couches and paintings and stuff, bro. And you just got released? Man, this is crazy, man. That's why I say, bro, I don't really believe the news these days. Like, they saying look, look, Wayne Buzz got hit with the Nina Trey in 2015, but I don't think this is the case, man. Maybe this all just a smoke screen just to promote uh, Lil Wayne's albums and stuff like that. And why this guy would be released all of a sudden. He taking pictures up in penthouses with about $8,000 of stuff around him and stuff, man. With that little pink shirt on, man. About to bust out of it. <laughs> And Lil Wayne, man, you know what I'm saying? You always hear when you when you hear Lil Wayne in the news about anything, man, he trying to he trying to promote something or he trying to get back in the headlines or whatever. Cause shoot, Lil Wayne, man, and this guy probably set up a little a little scheme just to make y'all believe that that really happened in 05. Or he probably told the people to release this guy. And was like, yo, we going to um, release him to make my name look good. We're going to put him by a private jet, put him in a a, a, a condo with uh, so many thousand dollars worth of stuff around him. And, you know, you got rappers like Thugger, Thugger them, uh, promoting this guy that posted did this and sharing his pictures and like whatnots and all kind of stuff, man. It's just weird, man. And, you know, this dude probably got out and sold out, man. Like, he probably going to be a, a offering of somebody. Like, you get out of jail. I mean, you get famous for doing things, I guess, these days. And you see people like Young Booty Thug and all that, man. They up here sharing this guy on Instagram. And all this, man, just don't make any sense to me. This is weird, man. That's what I say, bro. You do a crime, you get out and do a you get a bag. That's when you do a crime with tall celebrities. You, you get out and get a bag. And all it just seemed weird to me. I can't make this up. I can't make this out, man. I'm not really sure about this story, man. I just see a guy that supposedly had hit Lil Wayne bus in 2015 with the Nina trays, and now he released and on private jets and in penthouses with eight thousand dollars of stuff, maybe. Probably uh, at least about twelve, fourteen thousand dollars stuff in the house. Y'all let me know, man. And I'm gonna show y'all this video right here. I'm out. Word up. Talking to God like I know you real. You know what I'm saying? The Gideons came through the Bible. <laughs> Ever since then, guess what? I've been a different. Since they came through the what? When they came through the Bible, God made all this happen. I ain't no, I ain't got it. Go join that God. I'm already joined with the man of the boy. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to say thank you. 
<laughs> it's one God. When you go to heaven, he ain't gonna say what religion you are, Muslim over there, Buddha over there, Ifa over there, you no. It's one heaven. Either you're gonna get in that door or you ain't. And you get there by off the deeds of your heart and not the deeds of your judgment. God ain't gonna bless nobody with something they ain't ready for. Apparently he had to be ready, God gave it to him. He got the ultimate answer. You feel me? Get with though. Huh. The devil get gifts too. You get with though. Huh. The devil get gifts too. Get with though. Huh. The devil get gifts too. <laughs> yeah, but